Hey, good morning everybody. It is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and Florida Nearshore Fishing Charters, located here in East Central Florida, just east of Orlando and Walt Disney World near Cocoa Beach, Daytona Beach, New Smyrna Beach. And today what we're going to do is I'm going to do a review over the Power Pole uh, Shallow Water Anchor Micro Anchor. Um, designed for smaller skiffs, kayaks, canoes, that kind of stuff. I think boats up to 1,500 pounds. Um, what we're doing is we're in the process of, yeah, right here, 1,500 pounds. Um, we're in the process of, um, we've, we've purchased a GNU, custom GNU, uh, uh, um, low tide 25 from custom GNU down there in Titusville. And we got the hull in the trailer and we only had them put on the pulling platform and that's it. We're gonna do everything else ourselves. Uh, I'm gonna rig it. We're gonna put, we're gonna eventually have a jack plate on there, uh, you know, an outboard, casting deck, you know, batteries, electronics, uh, trolling motor. Um, it's gonna be a micro scare for backcountry use. Um, haven't decided whether or not we're gonna rig it totally. Um, not gonna touch the water and put it up for sale and more like a project see how we do it uh or, or i do it and uh, we're gonna go from there but i'm gonna do out of the box review for this you know everybody's had power poles or the talon um a full-size talon or power pole for the GNU is going to be overkill so when i saw this on a guy's kayak a few months ago i was like man that thing's not bad then when i saw it hold up to 1500 pounds i'm like well that's perfect for the GNU um this thing either uses a battery like a battery you can charge, like a lithium battery you can put on there, or you can hook it up to your boat battery, which that's what we're most likely gonna do. Um, so it's the same thing, wireless uh, mounting hardware, 15 foot cord, um, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of features. I've seen them used, it looks like it's pretty easy to use. Let's open it up, see what's in the box. All right, here, let's see here. I'm trying to do this while I'm standing. Why don't you get a picture of that? all right so we got the paperwork here and you know jl marine power pool they their customer service is great uh um now the only thing we had to get separate was the stick that comes with we bought an eight foot or i bought an eight foot um heavy duty uh stick i don't know if i need that long but if i'm not mistaken i think it uses up to like a 3 8 inch or 5 8 no matter what kind of stick it is, it'll use if it's the right diameter. Um, so inside the box here, we got the remote. The remote for the uh, console, that's pretty cool. And the wireless remote. And then we got the unit itself. I imagine some mounting hardware and oak cables. So we got the, the handle, plug. Let's just look in here real quick and see what we got going on here. Okay, so all the mounting hardware and all that kind of stuff. Nice. Put that back down there. And then, of course, we got the unit itself. I'll go ahead and pull this out. That's nice. Well, that doesn't weigh that much. All right. And where we're going to mount it at, we're not going to mount it to the, uh, the hull. Um, I had a Blue Point Marine, um, you know, the welders down there in Tyusville, or Gnu took it to them. And we had a bracket put on the pulling platform. So it's going to be a custom mount bracket that's going to fit on this thing. You know, it's going to go on the back right there like that. Uh, on the right, on the side that uh, we want it on. So, um, all right. So what we'll do is we're going to take this thing and we're going to get it mounted out there. And we'll show you the mounting procedure. We'll show, and then we'll do uh, test it and see how it goes up and down. Yeah, it looks like right there where the battery would go, but... Like I said, most likely we're probably going to just hook it up to the 12 volt battery on the boat. Just depends on how much cords and stuff goes on there. So, and it comes with waterproof connectors. So I can see the seal and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's get going on this bad boy. All right, so as you can see here, here's the bracket we were talking about. That bad boy's going to go right on there. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's going to be nice. The reason uh, we put it on this side is because I, I personally hold my push pull on the right side and I didn't want it to get in the way. Um, after thinking about it now, probably I might have should have had him weld one on each side, but we can always go back and do that again later. All right, so let's get the tools out here and let's get this thing installed. All right, so the bolts that come with it are nice. They got these nice little um, hex uh, screws on them, heads on them rather. 
Um, I think what I'm going to do is I just checked the clearance, and it looks like it'll be okay. I guess I could call them. Um, I'm going to go run down to the hardware store and buy a couple smaller, you know, like inch and a quarter, inch and a half uh, stainless steel. I'm really not a fan of those sticking out that far. So why don't we do that real quick? Okay, so I went and bought some uh, 5 16 inch um, bolts, hex bolts. I was able to find some of the same ones that uh, power pole had here. Just I got them in an inch and a half. So that's going to look a lot better cosmetically instead of these sticking out all the way. So let me get these on here and we'll go from there. Really nice hex ones. And after doing it, you know, I bought an uh, inch in... Um, inch and a half five sixteenth i might have got be able to go with the inch and a quarter you know just to make it a little bit more low profile but you know that looks pretty good better than the bolts sticking out to there what they had all right so let's move to the next step here and um we'll go from there all right so we got this bad boy on here um just follow the directions pretty well when you put this on to make sure it's clamped down correctly and um just make sure it's you know tight enough on there because you don't want it coming off there see i'm pushing on that pretty hard and uh you know if you ever got any questions or anything you can call those guys out there on the west coast of florida they're you know they will not, will not hesitate to help you out there i've had a power pole on my boats since they were invented so i love them all right so let's move to the next step here now the only thing i'm not going to do is i'm not going to wire i'm going to Put the wires on there but i'm not going to hook them up today for y'all just for the fact that once we get to this point it's really a wiring thing some people may take it somewhere and have them wire it they sell the battery that goes on here um i think that we're just gonna or i'm just going to put the put the um the harness that they have on and run it directly to my odyssey gel bat agm battery because uh, this boat only has the jack plate you know the starting engine which has an alternator to charge it this and a bilge pump and the lights i'm not putting a live well in here or anything this is for backcountry sight fishing you know artificial you know there's not gonna be any live well or anything so all right so let's go ahead and uh, get this wire hearts out and what i'll do is i will put the uh, stick in there and we can plug it in all right so we'll go ahead and go over the wiring i said i'm not gonna wire but i can go over it so it does come with a waterproof, so when you unplug it, a waterproof uh, cover, uh, the fuse, nice heavy gauge water wire. Um, basically, the nice thing about this is you can hook it up, wire it, then at night you can bring it inside if you store it outside or something. Um, just unplugs, bring it in. Uh, you know, you don't want anybody to steal it or anything. So, all right, let's go ahead and just plug this in, and we will. I'll grab. So, okay, a, yeah, we got everything hooked up here, and it looks really nice um nice nice construction nice design it's composite i think it weighs about 10 pounds eight pounds something like that i think 10 let's say 10. it says something about 10 with a bracket eight it's 10 pounds i think it's the difference right give or take a pound or so um so it's definitely nice i i think it's really cool that it says it's designed for boats up to 1500 pounds so this boat's going to weigh with everything in it maybe maybe 500 pounds if that um you know two people in it you know thousand pounds 800 pounds 600 pounds just depends on who's in it um so everything looks good uh i'll uh get we'll finish getting this rigged here in a couple weeks and i'll just uh, go out and test it and we'll do a video there on here and we're good to go this thing's really nice there's up down Look at that, lifted the boat up a little bit there. It says up to 1,500 pounds. Um, okay, got the we've Atlas got everything on. It's complete. Jack. Everything's done. Uh, it works great. Um, it looks like it's going to be really cool. Uh, you know, with that 8-foot stick, you know, probably stay up to 7-foot deep water. Um, like I said, uh, you could cut it down. You can, you know, put a different one in there. It's a really cool little anchor. Um, pretty impressed with it. Again, up to 1,500 pound boat weight. This thing is perfect for kayaks, canoes, uh, small micro skiffs, uh, like this canoe custom uh, low tide 25. So, all right, we're good to go. I want to wish everybody a great day. This is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, and I will see you later.